some young people interested in genetic engineering, huh? Wonderful, please come in. Oh, hello. Oh, there's more. Hello, sir. My, my, there's a lot of you. Come on! Well, I'm so pleased that you children are interested in genetic engineering. Genetic science began as a simple question. Can a monkey be made to have four asses instead of one? The answer was yes. And now we've been able to give more asses to pigs, horses, everything you can imagine. Yes, little boy. How does that help? Oh, you're one of the cynics, huh? Well, meet me over here for the tour and I'll show you how. Come on, don't be shy. We don't want to miss the four asses gorilla feeding. Try not to get your greasy paw prints all over everything. Don't worry, kid. This place is state of the art. Relax. What could possibly go wrong? So the gene for your buttocks redundancy is... Kind of short for our test subject volunteer program. Why does he allow tours in here? Whoever is funding all the experiments upstairs sure is motivated. Why, well, even the chromosomes have tiny extra asses. Fascinating. So the gene for your buttocks redundancy is recessive. It all makes sense. Kind of short for our test subject volunteer program. Ow, stupid kid! Please have a seat. You ever play that video game Half-Life? Okay, here we go. Here you can see our greenhouse. Genetic engineering is helpful to grow larger tomatoes, onions, cucumbers. Fruits and vegetables with more asses means more nutrition for people all around the planet. What good does that do? Oh, you Bible thumpers are all alike. Don't play God, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Let's continue up to the second level, shall we? Another benefit of genetic science, of course, is combining animals. Like these donkey apes, bunny fish, squirrel donkeys, and more. Once we put more asses on these, we will truly be benefiting science. Will you please explain how that benefits science at all? What's your name, little boy? Super Craig. You see, Super Craig, once we know how to do things to animals, we can hopefully apply them to mankind. You think having more asses is impossible? I tell you it's not. You see, genetic engineering is not just for animals and veggies. We are working towards helping people as well. Here you can see genetic mutations of my dead son. Most people don't remember that I once had a young child named Terrence. Oh yeah, I remember that kid. I was wondering what ever happened to him. Terrence was killed tragically in town when some kids were playing around with a relic belonging to Barbara Streisand. Oh, jeez, I think that was us. So, you're doing this all as a way to bring back your dead son? Bring him back? Well, of course not. I'm trying to give his dead body more asses so he can finally rest in peace. Now let's continue on to the fourth floor. Oh, fuck. Well, here we are. The top floor of the building and the end of our tour. What are these? These? Horrible, monstrous mistakes of science. Our new benefactor has asked that we genetically alter some of the local sixth graders and make them stronger and crazier. Okay, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? How do you mean? Why the fuck would you make genetically enhanced sixth graders? Calm down, Super Craig. How do you think we pay for all this? We have financial donors. Our latest benefactor has asked for this army of mutated sixth graders to protect his altered cats. What altered cats? No, oh, right over this way. A wealthy benefactor named Mr. Connor has donated money to have stray cats enhanced with more asses. Our company can add asses to things at very competitive rates. Problem is that cats seem to become really aggressive when given more asses. They've proven to be quite deadly. Then why would you bring a bunch of kids up here? Look, there's nothing to worry about. This entire facility has a very complex security grid. Huh, that's never happened before. Oh shit, someone shut down the security grid. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. What are you doing, fat ass? So you figured out my little plan, huh, Freedom Pals? Think you can stop me? Oh, I have someone here who'd like to say hello, new kid. Go on, talk. Guys? Guys, it's me, the kid. Will you knock it off? Listen to me. Don't make any deals with this piece of garbage. He's an animal. Ah! That's enough out of you, kid. You've been a real pain in my ass, new kid. You should have known not to mess with Mitch Connor. Where the fuck are you? Mr. Connor, if you shut down the security grid, then everyone in this building is going to die. What? Sorry, Doc. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the city. So long, Freedom Pal.
I'm sorry. 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 Let me guess. You're going to part. I'll take this call, guys. Say yes! Well done, but I'm afraid you're still hopelessly outassed. Those kitties look kind of cute, but they're not. <sighs> ah, smells like... Make way for Mysterion! Let's try this. Oop, now I've done it. These things are so bitey and... Another puddle, huh? Why not? One less conformist in the world. I should mention that my test subjects have a crazed hunger for human flesh. Might have something to do with the ass-adding process. Amazing! We may actually survive! Note the pupil dilation and increased salivary response. Those poor ass cats are getting quite pissed off now. Uh-oh, here's I've released more test subjects. Somebody call for a call, girl? Instagram, or else you'll get the stick again. Now? Let's go, posers. <laughs> Smoking is pretty cool. <laughs> no, no weakness. It's time. failure in the aquarium. Why is that even a button? That's right. Amazing. Your single asses beat their many asses. It just doesn't add up. My poor creatures. We must escape the lab. Maybe. Maybe we can go through some of the larger exhibits. This way, children. This one will definitely make the door open. The mutant sixth graders are on the loose. This was definitely not supposed to happen. Ugh, ugh, so dumb. Parents are dumb. Yeah, don't you stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. We'll be safe in the tour tram. Oh, the tour tram is offline. Somebody's gonna have to get to the CPU and hit the override switch. Where's the CPU? Down on the third level. Oh, it was silly to put it there, wasn't it? So somebody has to walk down to the third level and flip the switch? One, two, three, not it! Not it! Not, not it! Not it! Not it. <laughs> not it! Sorry, new kid, but it really should be you anyway. Yeah, if you think about it, this is all kind of your fault. They asked if they could, but didn't ask if they... Do you think if we called it Coon and Freedom Pals, none of this would be happening? I knew I should have installed that app to control the CPU from my phone. What? Do it now! I can't. This is a D-Mobile dead zone. Our school is dumb. Ah! Sixth grader!
you need. Hmm. Awesome. I put the stairs behind that portal door, but to open the door, you're gonna need power. The whole point of stairs is not to need electricity. Get that generator powered up, and the access to the stairs will open. Warrior, we will meet again.
that single ass book. Man, poor animals with all their extra butts. We're up to our necks in butthole. Maggots will be crawling out of your face in no time. Wrong place at the wrong time. I'll wipe my asses with you, Forthies. Take that, Forthy. I'm going through a lot of stuff right now, and needing to punch you is one of them. Blah. Basically, what I expect middle school will be like. Butthole supercharged! This might get ugly. Congratulations, you're dead. Forthies die! Thoughts and satanic prayers. Thanks, Satan. Now we're even. This is my time. Here we go.
to stop him. He's out of his mind. Cartman, you fucking asshole. What are you doing? Connor brought me here, human cat. The sick son of a bitch. Uh, you shut up, Coon. Soon this town will be rid of you and all the Coon friends. We're freedom pals, fat ass. We know what you're doing, Eric. Putting cat urine into people's drugs and alcohol to make them crazy. We want to know why. Yeah, why, you sick piece of... Uh, do I really have to spell it out, Coon? This city is sick. We both know it. There's only one time of year when this town is the way it should be. On Christmas. So I joined the Chamber of Commerce and use them to unleash my master plan. Escalate crime in the city, blame crime on mayor, run for mayor, get tons of followers, clone new kid into genetic mutant, win election, make everyday Christmas. What do you think? Pretty sweet plan, right? Dude, quick! <laughs> it's almost a shame that no one will ever know how perfectly my plan worked. Dude, you've gone too far this time. Nobody's gonna let you be mayor. Oh no? I've got all the new kids' followers. Every last one of them is now following me. Geez, that was smart. Eric, I know that Christmas every day sounds like fun, but it really wouldn't be. Fuck you, Dr. Timothy. If you guys don't mind, I've got an election to win. <laughs> God damn it! Well, there goes the main CPU. Darn it, why did I put that thing on a mobilized trap door? Why wouldn't you? I'm afraid now someone will have to go clear to the ground level and call for the tour tram from there. All right, fine. Hurry up, new kid. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, new kid. Stop wasting time. Gross, dude. Let's do this! Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, my whole outfit reeks now. Later! Oh, looks like all the mutated animals have broken loose. Welp.
Looks like you've run into mutant sixth graders. Oh, and they look hungry. Don't get eaten. Be careful of the grates. I've designed them to be removable in case anything wanted to attack people from below. I don't leave the house. Burn, ass freak. Prepare to meet your end. Here's our job! Soundproofing the walls in here so that no one could hear screams was not cheap, let me tell you. Target of my unbridled. Great. Another butthole, huh? Why not? Damn it! I'll crush you, twerps! Take that, Forthy! I hear the Valley of the Shadow of Death is lovely this time of year. Nightmare, I aspire to be. Now I'm pissed. Piss badger, everybody. That's how we do it in the sixth grade, you little shit. Freedom Power Coon Friend, you're cool in my book, new kid. with you for these get ready for the call girl haters You new kid. I wish I was in the ground with them.
Is that you? Mm. Cupcake! It's me! Daddy! They're trying to get DNA from your mother and I. You have to get me out of here! The computer is waiting for a DNA sample from your mother. Quick! She's in the next room. Go get mommy's DNA sample and bring it here! Hurry! to scan his DNA. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you have to finish the job. The only way out of here is to kill Daddy. I heard that! What the hell is wrong with you? Can I have a conversation with our child without being criticized? Oh, you're the victim again, huh? Like you don't deconstruct everything I say. Okay, Mr. Never Wrong in his life. Go, go do it, sweetie. Go cut off Daddy's head. Hurry! What'd she say? Did she say how nothing is her fault, like usual? I knew something like this would happen, and it's why I've told your mother to keep her fucking mouth shut! Fuck you! I told you if our child's powers were discovered, they'd try to harvest our DNA and make a genetic clone! You did fucking not! Listen, kiddo. The CPU is waiting for either of our DNA. Just trick your mom into walking over to it. Don't make our child choose sides! I'm trapped inside of a tube thingy! My legs are broken and my arm is almost ripped off! I could bleed to death if I move! You hear that? Go get Mommy's arm. That should do it. Get out of here and go get help. Mommy's proud of you. Organic DNA sample accepted. There we go. 
See, that wasn't so hard, was it? What took you so long, new kid? You're just screwing around having fun? All right, Freedom Pals. We've got to get out to the town and tell everyone what Cartman is doing. I don't think so, guys. You came all this way just to die, Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends! Careful, guys. He's got some kind of super weapon. It's over, fat ass. We're gonna tell everyone on you. Yeah, you hear that, Connor? You sick son of a bitch. Ah! You shut up, Coon. We need each other, don't you get it? I create the crime and you stomp it out. I am good for your franchise. Oh, fuck, I get it now. But then the new kid had to come along and try to stop me for good. I had no choice but to have my own new kid built. What have you done, Eric? Simple. How do you stop a coon friend? By creating a massive, genetically altered coon friend from that hero's DNA. What? Oh, dude, that's so fucking base. What, what do you mean, Keen? Really? You're just gonna fight a superhero by creating a big genetic mutant from the hero's DNA? That's like every douchebag superhero movie ever. Yeah, because it's key. It's not key. No, no, it's cool because it's like the ultimate enemy. Oh, give me a break. Well, anyways, I wasn't able to finish getting the new kid's DNA. So I had to resort to cloning a different superhero. Which superhero? 